Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and close this thing up. And hopefully, I'm not short circuiting anything. any jumpers that are coming disconnected but that's wishful thinking something's going to get fouled up so I'm not going to close it up too tight I'm going to be opening it up again anyway I already know I'm going to be opening it up to at least after I get everything programmed up. I'm going to be coming back to unplug that wire. I'm going to have to unplug the wire and I'm also going to be put installing buttons. Oh yeah. Maybe not today. Oh, yeah. Probably not today. Concerned that the, the jumpers that I had plugged in to the Arduino, some of them were the 22 gauge wire. It might come out. I think this. Did you program it at all yet? This might be from Clusterbot. That's the program that was left on there. Oh, uh, okay. It already looks like I'm gonna have some issues there. How? LEDs are lit up pretty well slow. Cut? Hmm? You want me to cut? Yeah, I did. Okay, I've got the preliminary build of the light bright clock. If you look at it, you got a good view of it? No. It is running and it's just counting up through the uh, all the numbers and all the positions. And they're all working. The only thing I've had trouble with so far since I closed it up is this bottom of the colon's not working. So it's probably a broken or loose wire or something. I forgot to connect in there. Uh, the top one works. I just don't have it programmed in this sketch right here. And in this sketch, I've actually defined... How good can you see the screen? Let me see. I can. Let's see how good it is. Oh, okay. Cool. Yeah. Alright, um, like you can actually read it. I defined each each number. Like for instance, this is a four, and each one of these sets of four lines defines one pixel of the four. So the four has one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine nine pixels so I have it's going to take 36 lines of code that's a function so anytime I want to write a four I just do four parentheses and you'll notice like three plus x three plus x what that means is if you look at this board that and I did this to help me uh, define the numbers oh I thought you if I define a four here 
then all I have to do to write a 4 here is add 3 to the column numbers and I, my 4 will appear here and if I want to write 1 here I just add 6 to the to these columns so I define it once and then I pass to the function whether I want to add 0, 3, or 6 depending on what position I'm in. So We don't have much time left on this phone. So it. that's where we're at now. Uh, next is going to be to incorporate the time function in and start putting the time up. And then after that I got to add the buttons so I can change the time make it correct and then after that I'm just going to uh, solder the battery in to the Arduino so we can use a battery pack on the back and we'll be done. So we're looking at just probably a couple more hours of work, hopefully. Yeah. See you soon. Bye-bye.